Hello and welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. I've had a request from Cynthia to show how I made this flower on the front of the Celebrate card. So I'm going to do a quick video on how I did that. I used the Pen Flowers dies, used the outline one on a piece of white cardstock, and I used the detail die on a piece of flirty flamingo that I had made into a sticker. Uh, and then I ran everything through the Tasteful Textile uh, 3D embossing folder. I wanted to show you really quickly, because uh, the last video I did on using the adhesive sheets is was months and months ago. I have the old style sheets. Um, they come in a 12 by 12. The sheets in the catalog come in a six uh, inch strip. They work exactly the same way. What you do is you've got this piece of kind of waxy paper. I'm just gonna use a small scrap. You can peel up the edge, peel it back like this. This side is sticky, like really super sticky. So you don't wanna put your fingers on it. So you just hold on to the edge that's still got the piece on it. And then I just drop the piece that I want to use as uh, an adhesive piece and then I cut it out and when you cut it out uh, you can just discard the uh, cover piece that comes off see this is just comes off now because um, this is actually stuck I don't know if you can see the glue in the seam it's actually stuck to the paper and that's what I've done with this piece here. Uh, when I do pieces, sometimes I have pieces left over. So that's what this is. So this is the Fleur de Flamingo with the adhesive paper on the back. So I'm just going to load up the uh, plates and die cut these out. Then I'll stick them together and I'll run them through the embossing machine. So I did have somebody else ask me why I put my dies through or my paper through on an angle. And it's, honestly, it's force of habit. Now I'm so used to putting the paper in with straight dies so that there's a corner that goes into the um, machine. I just, force of habit, put everything through on an angle now. So I'm just gonna run that through the machine. And we will stick that together and then I'll run it through the embossing folder and we can build the flower for the front of the card. So what we have now, I'll just take these off. What we have now is the outline of the background for the flower, and then we can just throw that away. And on this piece, we have, I'm just gonna grab my foam mat and my brush. On here, we have the sticker essentially we have made a sticker so this is an extra piece if you think you might want to keep the little sticker bits um, for doing say the center of flowers or little hearts you can absolutely keep this piece um, I have tons of this so I'm not going to keep that I am just going to run the brush over this and take out the larger pieces when you use the sticker sheets, you can quite often just peel away the outline piece and the smaller pieces just stay behind. Just need to be a little bit careful that the fine details don't tear. What you'll end up to, sometimes you can see there's pieces that are still stuck. So you can just pull those out. And what I find really useful for the small pieces is I just put my finger on the back and it just peels them all out. You have to t unstick them from your finger, but it's the most efficient way I have found of taking those off. So now we're just going to lay this over top and line it up as best we can drop it down and it is super sticky. So it is going to stick all the way down. I'm just gonna scrape those dots off my fingers because it limits my 
the ability to pick things up. Okay, so that is the flower, as you can tell. The same thing as on the front of the card, except this is untextured and the other one is textured. So I've just placed the whole thing in the uh, Tasteful Textiles folder. I'm going to run it through my embossing machine and that will be the flower built. And that is how I did the flower on the front of the card that I recently posted. So I will link the videos together so that when you watch the video for this one, you get taken right to the tutorial for this one. And that is your textured flower using the penned flowers dies and the tasteful textiles 3D embossing folder. Thanks so much, Cynthia, for asking the question and inspiring this video. And uh, please keep your comments coming, everybody, and your requests for different videos. Thanks so much, and we will see you next time.